Hi guys, this is Ruthie with the Popple Backyard Farm. I have another book call for you. Um, right now I've been getting a lot of um, used books and that type of thing to add to my stash. I never really keep books here. I read them and I usually donate them to like charity and stuff when I'm done. Just because my book shelf would just be out of control if I kept every book I read. But I will show you the haul that I have right now because I did get some used books. But I also have some... Um, new copies of books that I'm going to be doing review on. So let me get into what I'm going to be reading this month. I have a previous haul that I think I did last week. So you can see the other books that I'm adding to it. Okay, The Eye of the Storm by Patrick White. I have not read any of these, so I don't know what they're about. So I'll find out quickly as I get into them. Um, Antarctica. Um, and this is a scholastic book. And so this is actually like a learning book. Um, Karen... Roberts Shattered, A Year in Province by Peter Mile. Now I didn't even get to read the backs of these, the back of these books because I had to, you know, I was in a hurry because I was with Clay and I just grabbed um, Richard Adams, The Plague Dogs. So if these aren't good or something, I won't be finishing them. But uh, Julia Hart's Klondike Hero. I love love-inspired romances. Um, and I'll get into this next segment real quick with that because this is really funny. Um, I laughed and laughed and laughed when I got home because I went through and looked at the books I got. And because um, Clay and I were there and I was just like grabbed because I was in a hurry. and he, Well, he was in a hurry. So I thought I was getting more love-inspired type books. Well, needless to say, the stud. I am not reading these four books. I don't read anything erotica, any of that garbage. I don't have time for that junk. I only read nice, family-oriented love stories. So, Love Inspired are the ones I recommend. Women love love stories. So, I highly recommend Harlequin Love Inspired um, because they don't have all that other yuck in it. And, but once in a while, I will say this as an adult, I will run into, say, a good spy novel, and they might have, like, a scene in it. Well, this is what I do. Oh, clip through those pages and get back to the story because I don't want to read about somebody's love affair. But <laughs> So anyway, uh, you know, I don't want to read that erotic of junk. So anyway, getting back to that, um, I am a Christian, you know, I have some morals, you know, but that's, that's me. I'm not, uh, you know, I'm just, that's my view on it. But anyway, Colin Powell, The American Journey was another used book that I got. Now, two my books that I will be doing reviews on my blog about. These were sent to me, and um, they look pretty good. Susan Wilson's The Dog Who Saved Me, so I'm pretty excited about reading these, and A Man of His Own by Susan Wilson. So these will I will be reviewing these two on my blog. You can get both of these at Amazon.com right now. Let me know what you're reading, what you like to read, any suggestions for me to read. Um... I'll throw this out to one of the favorite books that I love, actually, is All the President's Men. I love, like, thrillers and spy-type spy, spy type books. I like that type of book. And um, so, and I love love-inspired romances, I know. But I like all kinds of books, you know, true stories, fiction, and stuff. But um, this is what I'm reading now, and you can see my other book haul. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, and uh, like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. God bless.